Hello, welcome guys. In this video, we want to look at Robert Koch uh, contributions and especially his postulates. Okay, so this is Robert Koch. You should be able to identify if they ask you in the spotters. <clears throat> so basically Robert Koch, uh, he was uh, a German general practitioner. So he's a doctor. Yes, he's a German general practitioner. He has made remarkable contributions to the field of microbiology. His contributions are solid media. He introduced solid media. Right? He was also during the same time like Louis Pasteur. He was much younger than Louis Pasteur looks like. 1910. So, uh, yes, much after uh, Louis Pasteur, you can say. Right? So, he introduced solid media. Who introduced liquid media? That was Louis Pasteur. Then solid media, Robert Koch. For uh, culturing um, uh, solid media for the culture of bacteria, etc. <clears throat> so actually, his uh, assistant suggested that they use agar to solidify the agent as a solidify solidifying agent. So agar used as solidifying agent, right? That is when it became liquid, became solid media. Okay. How is it going so far? Is it entering your head? What are we looking at? We are looking at Robert Koch contributions. He also introduced, actually they are saying the person who suggested this agar used as solidified, solidifying agent was his wife who was working as an assistant for him. He also introduced methods of isolation of bacteria in pure culture. Isolation of bacteria in pure culture. Next. He described hanging drop method for testing motility. Yay, I like hanging drop method. Hanging drop method to check motility. Wow. Then he discovered bacteria such as the anthrax bacilli, tubercle bacilli and cholera bacilli. But what is interesting is the anthrax uh, vaccine was already created by Louis Pasteur. Now this guy is coming here and discovering these bacteria. Okay. When it comes to tuberculosis, right? Tuberculosis is called as Koch disease. Remember, this is extremely important. You should know this. That is why uh, he only discovered. Now, that's why. Now, let us move on. Robert Koch observed that guinea pigs already infected with tubercle bacilli developed a hypersensitivity reaction when injected with tubercle bacilli or its protein. They are already infected. Again, you are injecting tubercle, tubercle bacilli or its protein and they are developing hypersensitivity reaction. This itself is coach phenomena. Okay. Gynea pigs. These are nothing but rodents actually. They are not pigs. Okay. If they are already infected with tubercle bacilli and then you inject tubercle bacilli again or the proteins of this tubercle bacilli. Then these pigs, guinea pigs, poor pigs, they develop hypersensitivity reaction. This is called a Koch phenomena. Over. They won't ask this in the exam. Don't worry. Coach postulates are very important. You should know these for exam. Now you start paying attention. Wake up if you are sleeping. Please wake up. There are only four postulates, okay, only four, don't worry. He postulated that a microorganism can be accepted as the causative agent of an infectious disease. Only four criteria are fulfilled. Only four criteria. To be fulfilled, to accept a microorganism as the causative for an infectious disease. Okay. What are the four criteria? The microorganism should be constantly associated with the lesion. So always same microorganism only you should be getting that from lesion. Right? Microorganism. So which are the four criteria? First one is microorganism constantly associated with the lesion. Right? So, if the lesion is there, the type of lesion, always same microorganism only you should be getting. You should be able to isolate the organism in pure culture from the lesion. So, from this lesion, you should be able to 
isolate the organism okay in pure culture that's all next third point the same disease must result when the isolated microorganism is inoculated into suitable laboratory animal torturing the animal now what you do this microorganism you already isolated no take this microorganism and inoculate into suitable lab animal and what should happen what should happen guys same disease must result in the animal okay then fourth point we are coming to fourth point now are you awake fourth point we already reached fourth point it should be possible to reisolate the organism in pure culture from the lesions produced in the experimental animals lesions produced in the experimental animal okay from this lesion you reisolate the microorganism okay and where it should be possible to reisolate the microorganism in pure culture okay it should be possible s h o u l d should be possible to reisolate the microorganism in pure culture okay from the lesions produced in the experimental animal so how many people understood raise your hand you understood very good now smile so basically what they are telling na from this lesions first first point i'm saying assos from a disease which has this lesions constantly you should be getting same microorganism it should be constantly associated with that lesion now from the lesion you should be able to isolate the organism into pure culture that is the second third one from this pure culture of this microorganism when you inoculate it into a suitable um laboratory animal the same disease must result in that animal poor animal yes fourth point now from the lesions produced in that animal you should be able to again reisolate the microorganism same same microorganism in pure culture see that same same microorganism you should be able to reisolate okay same disease should result same microorganism you should get again the soil are the four criteria that robert koch these are the four koch postulates the fifth point fifth postulate was later added okay an addition additional fifth criteria was introduced subsequently which states that antibody to the causative microorganism should demonstrate in the patient serum so now they became little high fi now they are saying antibodies to the organism should be demonstrable in the patient's serum serum means blood con constituent of blood correct okay so basically this much these are the five uh, post postulate i think the only four you should call coach postulate fifth criteria was added subsequently now these are the four uh, postulates let's move on exceptions to coach postulate so now there are exceptions also not everybody follows the rule now somebody has to break the rule so there are very 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 nice people who break the rule like myco bacterium leprae and then treponema pallidum that causes syphilis and then neisseria gonorrhoea this guy also want follow all these three people want to break rules leprae treponema pallidum and neisseria gonorrhoea this uh, what let's read about it it is observed that it is not always possible to apply these postulates to study all human diseases there are some bacteria that do not satisfy all these criteria those organisms are mycobacterium leprae and treponema pallidum they cannot be grown in vitro however they can be maintained in exper experimental animal so remember mycobacterium leprae and treponema pallidum cannot be grown in culture they can only be isolated in 
they can be only be maintained in can be maintained in experimental animals okay foot pad of mouse is i think mycobacterium leprae now moving on to neisseria gonorrhoeae there is no animal model however it can be grown in vitro for neisseria gonorrhoeae no animal model here in mycobacterium leprae and tryponema pallidum animals are there neisseria gonorrhoeae cultures are there no animal okay can be grown in vitro okay but no animal model okay that's all guys some further hi fi things are there about uh, coach postulate some molecular coach postulates are there some guy came and said uh, see don't talk about uh, microorganism or anything talk about the gene the gene that makes this antigen right that gene if we inactivate then the disease pathogenicity will come down all such rules he brought those are the molecular coach postulates we're not going into that okay so basically he said it's the gene gene will be associated with the pathogenic strain this gene if it is inactivated there will be decreased pathogenesis replacement of the mutated gene with normal type gene should fully restore its pathogenicity all those things okay antibodies will be directly against the gene products that will be the antigen the gene will be expressed at some point during the infection blah 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 anyways for now we are not going into the molecular coach postulate let us uh, revise take a deep breath very good so now let us uh, okay robert coach postulate robert coach is a german is a german german what is he <coughs> general physician yeah right is a general practitioner okay he discovered this uh, solid media he didn't discover he introduced solid media then uh, see that word becomes int int introduced solid media uh, he told how to uh, isolate the bacteria in pure culture hanging drop method for uh, detecting motility then uh, he discovered the bacillus anthrax a tubercle bacilli like co uh, cholera bacilli that is why this tb is called as coach disease then directly we came up uh, coach phenomena we had to do coach phenomena is where these guinea pigs uh, if they are already infected with tubercle bacilli and if we again inject this tubercle bacilli or protein there is hypersensitivity reaction that is coach phenomena not very important that one is don't worry now focus here this is what is important coach postulate the microorganisms should be constantly associated with the lesions from the lesion you should be able to isolate the organism into pure culture now this pure culture this microorganism you should be able to inoculate it into a suitable lab animal and the same disease must result in the lab animal then from this lab animal the lesions should be again uh, from the lesion you should be able to reisolate the same organ microorganism in pure culture fifth postulate was about the antibodies okay fifth postulate was about the antibodies antibodies to the organism should be demonstrable in the patient's serum exception to coats postulate are uh, mycobacterium leprae tryponema pallidum they cannot be grown in uh, in vitro they can be maintained in experimental animals neisseria gonorrhoeae uh, gonorrhoea they can be cultured but uh, they will not have animal model so this is so good you know these neisseria gonorrhoeae they like no 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 we will not affect animals no they are all like loving animal animal lovers they are neisseria gonorrhoeae okay then so molecular post coach postulates was defined later to talk about the genes only okay that's all for now guys uh, take a break enjoy life bye bye